everyone. Since it's getting warmer outside, Miss Beth at the Burnsville Public Library has two special guests with her that you're going to see in this video. The first one is going to be talking to us all about the importance of water safety when it comes to swimming, boating, and kayaking. The other special guest is someone that you may recognize. That's right, she has Nature Cat with her in her very own library. And along with him is an activity that you will find below this video about building your very own sailboat out of materials that you can find outside in nature. So without further ado, let's go ahead and join Miss Beth and her two very special guests. Miss Beth and I'm the director here at the Burnsville Public Library. Let's check out our children's section. We're so lucky to live where we live. We have so much fun stuff here at the library and we have so many fun opportunities here in our area. Nature Cat is our character for the Library Pathfinders program. We're so fortunate to have Nature Cat. He just loves the nature. He loves nature. He loves being outside. He loves doing things with his friends. We wanted to share a book with you all that we have here at the library. It's about a young lady that goes on a school trip with her class, whitewater kayaking. And she was good until the water got a little bit more turbulent and a little bit more white watery. And then she started having some issues about being scared. We have a lot of kids that kayak and boat. So Ranger Lisa is going to talk to all of you and all of us about what safety issues and precautions we should take when we're on the boat or a kayak or in the water. Ranger Lisa. Thank you, Beth. Hello from beautiful Burnsville Lake. My name is Lisa Hess and I'm a ranger with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. In the past couple of years, we have seen a huge increase in kayaking and paddle boarding here at the lake. While boating is extremely fun, it can also be very dangerous if you are not careful, especially if you don't have the proper safety equipment. All paddlers need to make sure they have a light for low light conditions, a whistle to signal for help or let someone know where you are, and a life jacket in case you fall in the water. The West Virginia law states that all youth 12 years of age and younger must wear a properly sized Coast Guard approved life jacket in a canoe, kayak, paddleboard, or on the deck of a motorboat. So always remember, Boat safe, boat smart, and wear it anytime you are in or around the water. Now back to you, Beth, at the Burnsville Public Library. Thanks, Ranger Lisa. We really appreciate the safety tips. As you can see, we're getting ready to take a little trip. The boys are gonna be kayaking, and Darren and I are gonna be in the boat with Don't the dog. Forget, the boys have their life vests on. They've got them hooked. Josh has his whistle. We have lights in the in the uh, boat with us. And Josh has our code word. We're code word adventures. We thank you for joining us at the Burnsville Public Library. And we hope you've enjoyed our time together. 